2D printing is very old technology. 3D printing is getting old now, but apparently you're working on something called 4D printing and you're actually attending a 4D printing conference in France this summer. Can you just explain what 4D printing is? Tell us like yeah. a story about it. Great, yeah, I will be happy to explain that. This is <laughs> another exciting area of 4D printing, yeah. which just simply says that the 4D printing, uh, we know the regular 3D printing, right? Everyone has in their garage now 3D printing. Yes. Now 4D printing is that, let's say you want something like, for example, a flower that opens and close, mm -hmm. okay? So after you print it, so that the structure can open and close when you provide some kind of stimulus. That means besides this three-dimensional aspect, there is a time aspect to it. So that's the four dimension. Uh. The time is the fourth dimension. So, okay. so you have that 3D, but later on after it's fabricated coming out of the printer, let's say you heat it up, it just morph completely and transform itself to something Else. that you conceived during the design. Yeah. The CAD model that you created, at time T it can have this shape, another time it can have another shape. So, for example, you can make a box from flat. Mm. It's, it's completely, it's a flat thing, so it's just configured itself and become uh, a foldable structure. So you could make a shipping box out of That's a it. flat... There is one paper on that. There's yes, a paper the, on that? The Georgia Tech demonstrated that. Um, ah. Yeah. I'm sure Amazon is going to love that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>